in our previous section using while loop we have displayed the number of rows present inside the cart table inside this cart i will just refresh this one i am having three data inside my table so three times this row is displayed and all this data is static we have not displayed dynamic data yet i will come to my code now this is the query we have written select star from cart and if the number of rows are greater than 0 only once we are displaying this table head then inside this while loop how many data i am having inside the table that many times i am just repeating this rows now what i want to do in place of this static data i want to display this data whatever i am having inside this table i will come i will copy this variable inside this laptop i am just going to write the php code php echo i will write this inside this square bracket i am just going to pass the column name this column name is nothing but the data the name which is present inside the table i am just passing that name i will save this now you can see for all three i am having laptop as soon as i refresh i am having the data from the table laptop earpods and headphone in the same way for price also i will copy this i will remove this and in inside this i am going to paste i will just write here price then here image name i will remove i will paste and i will just write here image save i will come just focus on this images and price i will refresh this you can see images are changed as well as price is changed now total price we have to change we have to change the grand total we have to work on this update quantity one by one we are going to see that before that you can see the serial numbers here for all this we are having the number as one so what i will do i will remove i will just write here id so let us see what happens save this i will refresh this one i am having one two and four i will come to my database table here also i am having one two and four but i do not want this one two four seven like that if i have deleted the data from between even after that i want the serial number in proper series so what we will do here we have written our query below this query i will create one variable num i will give the value as one i will copy this and inside this i will remove this entire php directly i am just going to paste the variable if i paste like this it is not going to work i have to wrap inside php echo and here i will close php now this is inside while loop so unless and until i do not increase or do not decrease the value the number will not be updated so before my while loop ends i am just increasing the number by 1 save this now you can see i have serial number as 1 2 and 4 i will refresh this now i will have 1 2 3 even if i delete data from between i will have the proper serial number i will come to my cart table from here i am just going to delete this year pods id2 is deleted now i will come to cart now you can see 1 2 so numbers will be displayed in proper series and inside this input field i have to display the quantity again i will come i will just copy this and inside this input field quantity field i will just write here quantity save this and here we have to pass inside this value value is equal to this one save 
I will refresh this. Now you can see quantity is displayed. Whatever data I am having inside this quantity field, that will be displayed. Accordingly, I can increase. As soon as I click on update button, this number should be updated inside this table. Once the data is updated inside this table, I have to calculate this total price. Then after that, I have to add all this total price and I have to display inside this grand total. That's all for this section. Next session, we are going to work on updating the quantity.